In life, we have moments of time to do the things that we want to do and to feel the things that we want to feel and to say the things we want to say. But sometimes in life, people don't want to play that way. They just want to walk away. And when they do that, they take parts of your soul with them. And they never really think about how those soul strings are still attached. In my book, Soul Keepers, I talk a great deal about the soul strings of our life and how the people in our life, from our parents, to our siblings, to our relatives, to our friends, to our family, to our colleagues, make a difference in our life. The colleagues that we have that become our special friends, people that really we spend time with outside of business, are really the people of our life. And openly, when I sit outdoors in the beautiful evening hours of Champaign, Illinois, I'm still thinking about where is the girl that I love. I lost my spouse of many years a long time ago. I've waited a good seven to ten years for the one that I knew that the minute I found her, she was the one. And I had to wait through a lot of growing on my part and a lot of growing on her part. And I actually saw her at a family festival when the Lord led me directly to her. And he said, you'll see her today and we'll point her out along the way. And sure enough, I walked in that festival with a pull card of stuff in my best, basically, uh, Harley Davidson wear with a totally new shaped head and a long beard. And God said, look over there to the right. And there she was, all in the light of the Lord, just like he promised me every time. The problem is that people don't always think about God wants them for them in their life. There are other people in the extended portions of our life who think they've got a plan for our life and it's not really their right to have that plan for our life. They don't really want to have us to have a life. They want us to fail in life. They want us to ruin our lives and that's not really people we want in our life. But there are other people in the world that might be total strangers, that might be huge stars, that might be interested in networks and interested in our skill sets who might just see us from afar and go, you know, That little fellow there or that guy there might just do just fine for the next project I have to do here. And they'll give us a chance in life. But every morning I wake up and I ask God, where's my love? And every night I go to bed and I say the same thing, where is my love? And every day I have felt that way for the last 10 years of my life since my late spouse left me. And I knew the minute I met that person that I loved her. Because every time that phone would ring or that text message would come through, my heart would sing. My heart would beat. And I'd go into these rooms where she wasn't there to greet and somebody else's name would be her name. And literally God has shown me thousands of signs for that woman's name. It was even her last name that I knew in college. And I started to think about the number of hints all across my lifetime that she was the one for me. You see, the people we have before them, we want to go on and have long-term relationships with and we still love, but sometimes those relationships time out. And God brings to us, sometimes at the best time and sometimes at the worst time in life, the next one for us. I was wise enough and fast enough to recognize that she was right for me. Unfortunately, I can't say that it was the same on the other side of the tree. But openly, I would carve her name on my heart not necessary because it's all there in my soul. I tattoo her name on my arm, sure, without a care. But more importantly, I wear a ring to say for her, I love you just the same every day. And I may never find another girl like you in any way. But in life, we have moments in time to know who's right for us. And since my late spouse left me, I've had two girls that were almost right for me, brought into my life both by prayers that I made on my knees before the loving Lord. And still, every morning, I ask the same question. Where are my loves? Where are the girls that I love? Where are those women who make me feel like I can do anything in the world today?